guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be filming a fashion overhaul. This has been on my to-do list for I literally don't even know how long now. I have not done a fashion related haul in quite some time and so I figured I would do that with Fashion Nova because there's been tons and tons of requests to do a Fashion Nova haul and so we're gonna just go ahead and jump into it. I have spent a total of $357.03. Granted, I did order on Mother's Day and they had a discount code to get 30% off the total order. People have made it a point to ask why I feel the need to say how much I spent. It's really just for the sake of the video and getting as much information to you guys out there as I can during the haul. So it would have been about four something, you know, without the discount code, but I will say that Fashion Nova, Pretty Little Things, all these websites tend to have at least one discount code that'll save you 10 to sometimes even 50% off, so just a heads up. However, I am no way affiliated with any of these brands. I'm just spending my own money and hoping for the best. All right, let's do it. Also, one last thing, I got a total of 22 pieces. What do we start with? Um, um, um. Let's start with the tops. Okay, here we go. All right, here we have the very first top and this is called the Give Me My Love top. This was $17.99. So at first I was pretty nervous about this because I was like, oh, shoes, nai, ya, ba, ba, dee, ba, doo. When I was buttoning it up, it just seemed like it was gonna be like really, really tight on me. But now that I have it on, I actually think it's really cute. I feel like it's like a perfect fit. I have to sneeze, oh Lord. <laughs> oh geez, <laughs> karate kick you in the face. I feel like it's a perfect fit. It fits really nice around my arms and I just, I'm getting very like, is it Sandra D? Come on, Sandra. Wait, <laughs> Grease, 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 anybody? I don't know, Latina version, fuck. West Side Story, I don't know. We out here though. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. I love it, I think it's so cute. Little scoop back going on. I was nervous on like first inspection that it was see-through and there's a chance that it is still see-through, but also, 2018, free the nip. YouTube, please don't censor me, okay. This next piece is called the Amy Crop Top, <laughs> not T, Amy Crop Top, and I got this in nude. This price was $14.99. I've been seeing everyone kind of rocking these tops where it has like just a very straight neckline and the spaghetti straps off and wider to the side. I think it's a great top, probably won't keep it for myself because I don't like the way it looks on me, but I really love this strap. Oh, well, you know what? No, hold on. Okay, maybe I don't hate it that much. Maybe I just wanted it in black. I don't know if you see this, could you hook a sister up and like send it in black? <laughs> Surprise me, just kidding, you don't have to. But, oh, look at that. Deodorant, way to go, Jazz. <sighs> I dig it. Do you guys like it? What do you guys think? I don't know. If you're all about freeing the nip in a white tee, you're gonna love this shirt, because uh, you can see everything. Secondly, this is called the wrap your arms around me crop top. And I don't know how much they want you to wrap, but clearly it's a lot. I don't know what's up with me and long pieces of fabric somehow finding their way into my life, but what I'm assuming needs to be done is you tie it up, put a cute little bow. Am I doing this wrong? That's it, wrap your arms. I'm so confused. Oh no! I figured it out. Okay, you're supposed to tie it in the front. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do that instead. <laughs> okay, so now I feel comfortable enough to show you what it looks like from the front, because now it's not exposing my chichis all the way. It just like weaves up in the front, and then you have like a very cute, much more reasonable bow tie in the back. I feel like such an idiot. I was like, why do I have all this fabric? No, this is uh, this is not bad. It is unlike your, you know, basic crop top. If they added a little bit of flair to it, they make you work to make it look cute. I take back everything. I like this now. <laughs> oh, and by the way, everything I've been trying on has been in a size small. The next piece is called, I believe, smock or sleigh. Okay, so this is in a size small. I actually would have preferred to size up for this. Ever since I started going back to the gym, I feel like my, my little Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say my biceps are coming in. I swear they're there. They're just not showing right now. They're hiding. They're shy. I do think that I could afford to go a size up in this just because it feels like it's cutting off the circulation around my arms. Oh, would you look at that? It is. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I'll probably just return it. I mean, it's good. I just don't love it enough to keep it. Next top is called the Come Out to Play, and it is a cute little crop top like so. I will say I'm actually quite excited about this piece only because I feel like since I have really small boobs, small boobs to me, these tops tend to literally just slide right off of me. But I think this one is really cute. It's a really, really good material. Like I'm actually quite surprised. Everything feels like it was really, really well made. Even when I put my hair back, I still feel like it looks really, really cute. This next piece is called the Charlene Off Shoulder Top. It was $19.99. Putting it on, looking at it, everything, I was like, oh yes. 
yes and a sada yes. So this one definitely fits the way that I would hope it does. I think the only thing that's kind of bumming me out, and I probably knew this when I purchased it, was just kind of how loud that this is right here. The shirt itself is a really, really nice fit. I'm just afraid that I wouldn't actually wear this out because I do really like minimal pieces. I think I would like this shirt a lot more without this. I don't know that I love it. We don't keep things around here if we don't love it. Okay, next piece. Do you ever like order clothes online and then you uh, get it in the mail <laughs> and then you try it on and you wonder what the hell you were thinking? <laughs> because I kind of feel like maybe that could be happening um, right now. What did I do? Why did you guys let me order this? What the fuck is going on? Okay. This is the Brea off the shoulder short sleeve striped top, $17.99, size small. What is up with all the ruffles? This, let me try to tuck it in off camera, see if that makes, yeah, I mean, it's better tucked in. I don't hate it, I just don't love it. Patricia Bright or any of these wonderful fashion moguls could put this on and make it look amazing. And then I'm here and I'm like, Hey everyone, what's going on? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Okay, next piece. <laughs> Jasmine, summarize your style in one word. <laughs> Lazy. But can I add in another? Chic. I'm such a joke. This shirt is called Honey, I'm Home, and it was $14.99. Honestly, guys, like this is my favorite day-to-day -day fashion, which is lazy, but also like chic. Like, that's cute. Like, it's a, it's a good fit. It's not tied around my arms. My freaking huge biceps aren't throbbing out of the top. <laughs> I mean, like, guys, that's like not bad. <laughs> Next top, this is called the Hugs and Kisses crop top, and it was, again, $14.99. So it just says XOXO up here. It's giving me kind of like 70s vibes, you know? Like I need to be roller skating through life wearing this top with my hair exactly like this or Farrah Fawcett, you know, craziness. But I'm a fan. So that's it for the tops. We will move into bodysuits now. I don't remember the last time I've been so immediately excited about a bodysuit, but I saw this one online and I was like, yes. I also know that Fashion Nova caters to girls who have hips and have butts, which is really exciting for me because a lot of the times when I try to buy bodysuits, I will fit like a small up top when it gets to my butt, it feels like my butt is chewing on the fabric, quite literally. So when I put it on, I was like, okay, it fits great up here. Like it really does. It's actually perfect up here. And when it came time to button it up, it was perfect. So it's very kind of like high rise. Right underneath it are my underwear, um, which you can see right there but uh, it does not feel like it's, you know, flossing, getting in between the cheeks at all. It feels very, very comfortable. I think it's just super cute. I think it's really flattering. I love this like really heavy scoop neck right here. I love the camo. This is called the I Don't Blend In Camo bodysuit. And this was $19.99. I'm so happy with all these prices so far. I think this is so cute. Oh my God. This is genuinely one of the best hauls I've ever done in my whole life. Way to jump the gun, Jazz, but I mean it. This is called the Don't Be So Square One Piece, and this is in the color ivory, and the price on this was $19.99. I think the issue that I was having with the tan shirt that I had that was, you know, like a similar cut to this was just that it matched my skin tone too much, so I felt like it just kind of looked like it was all naked up here, which kind of made me feel like the broad shoulders and all that were coming out. But this, on the other hand, I really love it. This is really cute. It's very, it's very, very fancy material. I don't know what my standards are for fancy, but this is fancy to me. Like, it's not cotton. I'm a fan. Love it. On to the very last bodysuit that I got. This is called Full in Love. It was $22.99. I think that this is like entirely my style. I feel like it's super romantic and it would be really cute to wear on a date night or even like a first date. Then again, what the fuck do I know? <laughs> I do really, really like this a lot. I have a teddy bear asleep on the ground. Beanbag, what you doing? He looks super cute, pup. And if any of you guys are wondering, Duke is in the living room taking a little nap himself. I also really like that the sleeves are kind of longer around the hand, so it kind of creates this little like, oh, like dainty and Fuck, I don't know. I really like it though. I'm a fan. Good job, Fashion Nova. All right, guys, this is the next piece and this is called Let Your Guard Down Jumpsuit. See, I finally figured out which is which. And this was actually only $29.99. And I was quite nervous to order this because I figured that it would not fit me because I'm really, really short. And a lot of the times when major companies make jumpsuits, again, it's made for tall and skinny, not short and curvy. 
but this actually fits so nice. I almost feel like I'm about to roll out and hang out with like Khloe Kardashian tonight. <laughs> what? Like honestly, I really love this. This is so comfortable. I would wear this around the house. I don't even care. Yeah, you could see it is like a perfect fit around the legs. There's just enough fabric. The socks are not okay. I'm so sorry about that. Like a night out on the town. I feel like I need to be in Miami right now. This dress is called the perfect slip dress and I don't even think you guys are ready to hear how much it costs because I am shocked, I am appalled, I need to phone a friend. It was only $9.99. It just hugs like every curve so perfectly. It's great for my shorties out there. I also really, really love the straps. I love how high it goes. It feels very safe and protected in here. I am in love. $9.99. So this dress is called the Trinity tunic and this is in the color mustard and this was $14.99. So cute from the side. Oh my god, the slit, like it's so feminine and it hugs on all the curves. And then you look at it from the front. It looks like this is a nightgown from the front. But again, it could be one of those pieces that is truly meant to add your own flair and accessories and outerwear and stuff to really make it pop. I'm sure some like Adidas, you know, this, the all-star superstar, whatever the hell they're called, with a jean jacket and a messy bun and a necklace, you're probably onto something. But just on its own, not the biggest fan. This one is going to be the last dress that I have and this is called the Jaclyn Off Shoulder Mini Dress and this was actually $27.99. So I actually bought this because I feel like I've seen everyone wearing like this style of dress off the shoulder buttons down the side, kind of a knit fabric, but overall a very cute and comfortable feel to it. I actually think this is really cute. I think I would wear this with some cute like strappy heels or something like that. Maybe a leather jacket over. Fuck no, I wouldn't wear it. I don't know what I would do. <laughs> I just know I like it. I'm just trying to visualize outfits and then I say it out loud and I'm like, oh my God, they're gonna think that's a terrible idea. Holy freaking guacamole. This is called the tennis court set. I am obsessed with this. So I don't know if you guys watched my white Fox Boutique haul that I talked about buying. It was a baggier version of this jumpsuit. God, for like $150, just something absurd. And I was super annoyed because the strings were so long on me. And then I put this on. I don't even know how to describe it. It's so soft. I never like myself in jumpsuits because I feel like they just tend to like over accentuate my hips and they just end up not being very flattering on me. But this, I feel good in like I want to wear this for all of my errands all the time forever oh my god it's so cute I love it so much the strings are also a reasonable length and for this is how it fits around the ankles which is really perfect this is just an all-around win this is mine for the rest of my life and I'll probably end up taking a selfie in this after I film this video me screaming in unicorn. So this is called the the Wonderlust hoodie and leggings and bought this only because I've seen Kylie Jenner wear it like a super long time ago and I was like, oh snap, this is like a pajama set waiting to happen, Netflix and chill set waiting to happen, Aaron running set waiting to happen. What a great note to end off like the clothing and now we're gonna go into the jeans. All right guys, so this is the first pair of jeans and these are called the High Rise Ankle Skinny Celebrity Pink, okay? And they fit like so. Very, very nice around the booty. I got these in a size 26. However, I'm feeling like I could have sized down just because of all this extra space back here. There's a lot of fabric up here that is not being filled out. It has really cute detailing, kind of like stress detail detailing up the front and a little bit of an acid wash tonal change up at the front here as well. It's definitely not overdone. Yeah, I am an all around fan. These ones are called the Black Label Mid-Rise Skinny. They're actually pretty high-waisted. So I got these in a size 27 and I don't know if it was something that the website said, but again, I'm having a lot of extra fabric back here. But I will say it fits around my butt really, really nicely. But the only issue I have is the scrunch at the bottom. I definitely just got a, a size that was a little too big for me, so maybe I'll try and turn them in, get them hemmed into my size, I don't know. We'll see. On to the very last jeans and probably my favorite ones thus far. Again, I got these in a 27 and I am still dealing with the issue of having all this extra fabric, but I love these so much. The pockets are really, really good. They're kind of further apart, which tends to make your butt look even wider and bigger, which I know a lot of people like or want. But my favorite part is probably 
the ankles, they kind of have this distressed bit that kind of flares out at the end and then it cuts up at the top here, which I think is meant to either look really good with like high rise converse or booties or even some heels, but it's definitely different. I don't have any other jeans that do this exactly. So I'm sure again, if I size down in all these jeans, that they'll be just the right fit. Again, these fits are not bad. They're just not precise, which I know I can get them to be precise if I just ordered the right size. All right, guys, so that is going to be it for this Fashion Nova haul video. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. This is actually a ton of fun for me to film. However, I will say, like, that was a lot of clothes to talk about at once. I am genuinely out of breath. I feel like I just ran a marathon. Not really, but I definitely, like, I'm tired. My mouth is, like, dry. Like, I haven't drank any water. I'm like, yeah. But that is gonna be it for this video. I do really hope you guys enjoyed it. Do me a favor and leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and if you wanna see more hauls in the future, comment down below some websites that you would like me to try out. I've definitely gotten Wish so far, Lulu's, and I think Boohoo. So let me know which one you want me to do next. And if you see somebody's comment and they've already commented, just make sure to like their comment. I'll be able to notice it faster that way and it'll give me an idea of what you guys wanna see next. But trying to do like weekly or bi-weekly hauls. They've been so much fun for me to film and you guys seem to really enjoy them. So I'll definitely try to keep that going. That is it for now. I love you guys so much. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Turn on the bell notifications that you know every time I upload a new video. Follow me on my socials. Do all that fun stuff. And comment below. That's it. I love you guys so much. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. I almost said besitos. In the next besitos. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay sexy, San Diego. Love you very, very, very much. Besitos. And I'll see you in the next video. I already said that. Okay, bye. <laughs>